Governor Jim Pillen has called his property tax relief pro proposal a living, breathing document. That means it's not set in stone. But today, lawmakers tell KETV more than a dozen senators were at the governor's mansion working through details. KETV Newswatch 7's Bill Shamert's on the live desk. Bill. Julie, Rob, we are now 17 days away from the likely special session. Governor Pillen has said the singular focus will be on reducing taxes. KET first told you about his plan a week ago. He wants to pay for K-12 schools, everything except buildings and bonds, with the state's budget. To do that, lawmakers need to find $1.8 billion in new funding and budget changes. This is uh, 17 state senators that are coming up uh, with uh, a plan that hopefully we can get consensus on. And then it's going to take the rest of the body to kind of get their input and tell us where we want to go. That group met today. Senator Mike Jacobson says this will be a net tax reduction in the end. A reminder of where Pillen is proposing he'll get the funding. More than a billion dollars from expanding the sales tax base and removing certain exemptions. That's everything from business and ag inputs like buying tractors and energy to legal services and do dog grooming. Up to half a billion would come from state efficiencies like eliminating vacant jobs and dipping into the cash reserve. About 200 million would come from sin tax increases, stuff like cigarettes, vaping, hard liquor, and then adding pop and candy to the sales tax roll. We are sitting down with lawmakers who opposed Pillen's original plan that failed to get enough votes this spring. Look for that conversation later this week.